is doing his tongue flickers. Tongue flickers. Oh, you have a long tongue. Look at your long tongue. My goodness, I don't think I've ever seen a um, snake with as long a tongue as you. I have to do some stabilizing. Well, I'm using a monopod. You're so beautiful. Let me see where it is. It's um it's in the most scenic place. Look, it's right by this beautiful cactus. And then if you zoom on out, that's what's right above it. You can't ask for a more beautiful view. Look at this. Over there. That is Tabletop Mountain. It is a, um, a national, um, it's a wilderness area. And a BLM. It, it, and, it, and it marks the, um, it's on the Tohono O'odham Indian Nation, which borders Mexico. The rattlesnake is nice and quiet now. He rattled most of the way out here because he warmed up. So I'm getting ready to do this. Hi. Hi, my friend. Hi there. Hi. Hi, I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Look, look how close. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You're so beautiful. Videos in the making will feature these guys in three separate events. They seem to follow me around all summer. So I took a workshop held by Arizona Game and Fish on what they called the unlovables, turkey vultures and bats, which are actually very lovable, intelligent, and important once you get to know them. And I promise you will. Oh, they're both here. Oh, hello, my beloveds. My beautiful beloveds. Beautiful beloveds. Oh, just to go up a little higher and look down. Oh my God, I just don't know if I can get up. Oh, just a minute. I guess he's happy to stay in the thing. I wasn't stable enough to dump it. I couldn't have gotten away fast enough. And that's why I didn't just dump it. I trust myself on flat land. I don't, I just, it's not easy on these rocks. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Let's see what we can see. All right. A decade ago, navigating these rocks up and down the hill would have been nothing to me. I'm not sure I have a safe place to. But now it's a different story. Stand up. Oh, stand up. All right, I don't see it anywhere over there. Whew. I decided to leave right. the visual imagery of me struggling with it in order to say a few words about my disability, PLS, primary lateral sclerosis. Look there. I've kept it quiet because I wanted to keep the focus on the subject matter of my videos and it's not me. But the fact is that it really affects the videos, especially my creative process. So I think y'all need to know. Why birth? Besides, PLS is a rare disease, and the only way to raise awareness about it is to talk about it. So I feel I have an obligation to do that. Primary lateral sclerosis is a neurological degenerative motor disease that originates in the brain. It's the little sister to ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, but not fatal. Still, modern medicine says that it's chronic and incurable and all that can be done for it at this time is to treat the symptoms 
which are mainly spasticity and moderate to severe pain in the lower extremities, meaning the hips, legs, and feet. I will tell you all about it in an upcoming video and how a doctor almost killed me and made it worse with a defective medical device. But for now, just know that the pain related to this disease is responsible for the decline in the number of my videos since that near-death experience. It's also why I've not been able to get out physically and do some of the things that I used to do. I'm not confined to a wheelchair yet and hope to never be, but I have to use a pole or a cane and ride those electrical carts at big stores. I can't stand for long periods of time, especially on concrete and other hard surfaces. I can still hike Seriously? short distances if I use this poles terrible. and wear good hiking boots. And that's probably why I haven't been able to film a Gila monster for several years. I just haven't been outside enough to spot them. I also lost the fine motor control in my hands. I can't yes. play guitar and piano as well, and my videos are shaky or even using a monopod. And that might also be why I've shifted to doing more still art than videos for the time being. But back to this one. All right. There you go. I can't get the GoPro to turn on. Just want some pictures. I'm gonna leave you alone. Sorry I couldn't leave the bucket out here. I think you wanted to, me to leave the bucket. Okay, let's get some. He's being so nice and beautiful and calm right now. You've just been sitting here enjoying the vultures and enjoying everything. and just as happy as I can be to visit with them. It's cooled off. There's a breeze. There are a lot of light, nice little fluffy clouds in the sky. and This is just a very rare, precious experience. Here I am sitting and enjoying the company of a rattlesnake in its natural setting, peacefully coexisting. This is how it ought to be. This is how it should be. And I'm so fortunate and so blessed to be able to do this and to then share it with y'all. I'm just so happy. This is Arizona. My home sweet home. I don't want to rattle, rattle them anymore. I really don't, so I'm gonna uh, 